I'm going to show you guys a more practical use for the color correcting footage that has uh, crazy lighting situations using the curve tool method. So here I have a plate from Underworld 4 which I got from Luma Pictures and uh, this plate has a bunch of flashing lighting uh, all over the walls at different depths and uh, it's just going berserk. And so what I've done is, uh, let's say we needed to paint these guys out because they were tracking markers or something, so I just quickly did a clean plate for that and uh, stuck it back over the wall, but as you can see, as I play it back, it uh, stands out quite a bit. <laughs> and um, what you would have to do in this situation, especially for a much longer time uh, timeline with more drastic changes you need to go and like hand animate that or or find some other method but it's actually a lot easier than that and so here I just have uh, a stabilized version uh, that I track to these to these markers here and uh, all we're gonna do is crop this footage in a small region just trying to pick up this average color here this this uh, this gray gray color and we'll go back to this frame and, uh, and then just go ahead and reformat the crop and that'll make the uh, the color fill the whole um, the whole screen there instead of having uh, all this black in here because when we curve tool it it's going to uh, pick up that black so just reformat that crop and um, pull up a curve tool and it should be all set to go just uh, set your frame range in here whatever frames you want to I want to analyze and it usually goes pretty quick as you can see and so then you'll have just all this intensity data which uh, should be quite accurate to whatever is on the screen there and uh, all we have to do is make a grade and on the frame that we uh, use to make this like clean plate which is frame 78 here uh, just go to that frame and um, go back to the footage and you'll want to sample the white point values just like the average color here just like we did with that crop uh, you might even be able to sample or take the first number from the from the uh, curve tool and just drag that over but we'll just sample it from here um, so after we get the white point we take the gain and we break it out into four channels and then we control drag the intensity curve onto the gain and after we do that we take a look and the paint and I can show you on and off it is there <laughs> um, and the paint should now be extremely closely matched to the original plate if not a hundred percent matched and uh, that will probably save you guys a lot of time hand animating anything and the curve tool is super powerful you can make those curves you know animate a mix uh, of a merge that's that's mixing on say if, if these certain lighting situations here on this wall were coming on and you needed them on at a certain frame they could be mixing on a different paint or different light or something it, it just saves so much time in the animation process so hope you guys learned something from that